Hello, my name is James Hunter and this is a My Two Cents channel where I talk about topics from uh, physical fitness, mental health, wellness, and just topics of interest I may want to discuss. And today I'm going to talk about Franco Colombo, uh, how strong he was, and more specifically about a video that's been going on around on YouTube where he deadlifts 700 pounds times uh, three reps without a belt and does it pretty much almost effortlessly uh, like, like it's nothing. So Franco Colombo, without a doubt, uh, pound for pound, uh, one of the strongest uh, men of his era in terms of the bodybuilding, uh, the competitors. He's even a powerlifter, from what I understand, before he uh, got into bodybuilding. And this guy weighed well less than 200 pounds, maybe 185 um, in that area. He was like probably 5'4 in that neighborhood. So for his height, that's a, that's a big guy. So his strength, his feats of strength, are, are known about, you know, the, the hot water uh, bottle or balloon thing. He would blow that up. And apparently, according to Rick Drayson and, um, and Greg Valentino, he would uh, lift, I think. blow up a hot water bottle. I'm going to watch it real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, the strongest to the point of it uh, is blowing up. A blowing hot water up. And I'm going to talk that about that here in a minute. Pounds of pressure. There's Mike Katz out there in the audience. It's going to pop. I believe this is uh, from Pump and Iron. And there it goes. Okay. So why am I bringing up him blowing up a hot water bottle? Well, according to people who knew Franco, such as Rick Drayson, uh, I believe he's made some comments about it, and then uh, Greg Valentino, well, they report that he had a ring that had a, uh, or either a razor on it or uh, some type of a pen, something that was sharp, if you will, that once he started blowing up that uh, hot water bottle, he could pop it. And so, you know, it's kind of like a, a thing he would do in front of crowds as part of him being a, they would bill him as the strongest man in the world. Uh, as far as pound for pound, he may, may very well have been one of the strongest men in the world at that time, if not the strongest based on his feats of strength in terms of his uh, deadlift, bench press, and, and so on. So why does that matter? So this was a question that was asked to me. Uh, someone told me to go look at this video. Uh, one of the guys at the gym, who's a power lifter, and he asked me, you know, does that look almost too easy for you? Uh, when he, and I'm going to play this video here in a minute. Uh, when he deadlifts uh, 700 pounds for three reps without a belt, someone who probably weighed around 185 pounds, right? We have a lot of guys these days that can rep out or do reps with 700 pound deadlift without a belt, but they typically weigh, you know, close to 300 pounds, you know, bigger, much larger men. So the question is this, if Franco Colombo, when he went and did exhibitions of strength uh, or feats of strength, if you will, if he was willing to use something like a, a ring with a, a sharp edge to pop a hot water bottle, which is cheating. It's not really him causing it to burst. He's making it burst uh, with a, a sharp object on a ring. So if he's willing to do that, to be deceptive, to fool an audience of people, and granted, it's for entertainment. You know, it's all entertainment and marketing and, uh, you know, putting themselves out there to do these things. It gets attention. So if he's willing to do that, be deceptive in one feat of strength, would he uh, possibly... Um, or, you know, because think about it, you're going on exhibitions doing feats of strength, you know, having to pull a, a heavy amounts of weight off the floor, uh, can, that can get old after a while, if, you know, if your body, uh, it, can, it can be a, a lot of stress on the body if you're not getting recuperation and rest and so on. So is it possible, in this day and age, there's fake weights, uh, we know all about that, but apparently, uh, you know, there's been props and fake weights used uh, in the 70s. This is not something that's completely new. So... Here's where I'm going with this is that I'm not accusing Franco Colombo of using a, maybe some of those plates are fake, um, but it does look a lot, a very, uh, really easy. So, but he was a freak. You know, the guy was a freak. He had a lot of strength for his size. So I'm not surprised if it's real, but I can see why some people might kind of wonder when they, when I show you how easy it's going to look in this video. So is it possible that for a demonstration and exhibition that, you know, he might, you know, lighten up the load a bit with some plates that are not, you know, uh, the complete weight they're supposed to be. They're not actually 45-pound plates. Maybe they're a bit lighter, but it's still a considerable amount of weight, but not the full 700. So let's go ahead and play the video. And you can see the speed at which this weight comes off the floor. 
700 pounds, reportedly 700 pounds. And look at the speed on that bar, it just comes up like nothing. He's just knocking that shit out like it's freaking baby weight. And of course, he's grimacing and making the facial expression. The guy behind him with the mustache is just kind of smiling and laughing. And there he goes. And I'll go ahead and uh, let's play it one more time. Let's check it out. You know, and the bar has the bar has a little bit, a bit of a bend in it. So you know, it, depending on what type of a uh, caliber of bar that was back then, it may not have taken a lot of weight to bend it for one. But you know, the guy's not even breathing hard. You know. So, the um, deadlifts, for those of you who do deadlifts, you know, you do a set of deadlifts, especially if you're working up to it, you know, it gets your, it can get your heart rate up, you know, it gets you breathing. And typically for a 700 pound deadlift, uh, an individual's just not going to go in there cold at it and just, you know, yank it off the floor like that. Typically, you're not going to see that happen, uh, you know, very often it's, Typically, people are going to warm up. They're going to do some warm-up sets, some working sets with lighter loads, and then they build up to that big set. You know, I see guys on YouTube that are close to 300 pounds or 300 pounds who can pull 700 pounds or better for some reps, but it doesn't look that easy. Not as easy as this video, uh, Franco Colombo, where it's, it's, you know, 1972, um, 700 pounds times three reps. And I got to admit, it, it does look almost too damn easy and the speed at which he pulls it up i mean he just knocks that shit out like nothing so you have uh various possibilities possibility number one franco colombo uh well he was a freak of nature in terms of his strength let's not uh let's not deny that the man was a not uh, without a doubt was a pound for pound one of the strongest men back then as a bodybuilder we've seen him uh you know in video footage uh rep out 315 405 like you know on the bench press other uh photos of him deadlifting over 600 pounds or better so yeah he was strong there's no argument there the question is that was asked to me uh, by this a couple guys at the gym that are power lifters they asked me hey do you think that some of these videos of a lot some of these guys back then including uh franco colombo uh, if all of those lifts were 100% legit, or maybe something's going on there uh, with some of those plates. So I'm not accusing Franco Colombo of anything. You know, the guy uh, definitely was exceptional. Uh, five foot four is probably about his height from what I've heard on uh, people who knew him and other videos I've watched. Uh, probably about 185 pounds in that neighborhood. So definitely is a big man. And he was one, of, when they had the... Um, World Strongest Man contest when this when it was kind of just developing as many know who are familiar with him he was in those contests and you know and was very respectable as far as how he held his own uh, injured his knee actually uh, running with a refrigerator on his back so that's just a, a video I wanted to make today just to kind of get people's opinions is it possible even though Franco Colombo without a doubt is a legend uh, not just a a, you know a legend as a bodybuilder but just for his feats of strength is it possible that during some during some of these exhibitions uh, maybe they kind of fudged a little bit uh, with some of the plates uh, to just to uh, go out there and put on a show to entertain people do you believe this is a legit set of three with 700 pounds uh, with the speed that he did it at without a belt weighing probably 185 188 pounds maybe in that area what do you think i'd like to hear from you and what are your thoughts uh rest in peace franco colombo a legend and one of my favorite bodybuilders and one of my favorite uh characters from that era definitely a very interesting person uh, uh one of arnold's uh probably mo most popular training partners so until i make another video uh take care and have a great day